Next, open and recent issues. If they have any planned scheduled meetings like this, Lambda planned life cycle event upcoming. Where in North Virginia, not in Mumbai, only North Virginia. What? It is pending still. Affected resources? It's here. One pending may require action. Here is the details. My website pending six days ago. Like this, based on the recommendation, you go there, you look at it. <coughs> Even we check our health, right? How is our pulse? The moment you wake up, you look at yourself. Okay, we are feeling good. Same, same thing. Before you use any services in AWS, what AWS is having is their own health dashboard, where it is available as part of management console. Under management console, you see this. Tips. Even you can see cost optimization, cost information, security information. You can also create one more widget. Trust advisor is here. Now, let's go back to the under management console or separately you can access health dashboard. Health dashboard will give insights on available regions, available physical data centers, available point of presence, and list of services which are running across the globe. What is the status of that? Very, very important cloud trail. Let's go to the cloud trail. Track user activity and your API usage. How can we access AWS? How many ways? How many ways we can access AWS? Two ways. One is graphically from browser. Second one is programmatically. Programmatically, maybe AWS CLI, maybe AWS SDK. SDK is nothing but it starts with all the programming languages. Example, Java, Python, Go language, Terraform, etc. All SDKs comes here. Here you use commands. And first one is graphically. What CloudTrail says, track user activity. Who will log in first? Root user or IAM user. User activities and API usage. Each and every transaction, whatever the user logs in, whether through graphically, whether through programmatically. What is he trying to do? Request and response. API uses what? Request and response. You're clicking on EC2. It is creating, listing, deleting, updating, modifying. This is what you're doing. That information is tracking. Let's go to cloud trail. I'm going to cloud trail. Continuously log your account activity. Use CloudTrail to meet your governance, compliance, and auditing needs for your AWS accounts. This is the additional thing. By default, CloudTrail is giving 90 days data. Now, brand new account you created. You're creating users. Attaching policy, user has used SSO, user has used switch role, user has created S3 bucket, user has created EC2 instance. All this information is tracked by CloudTrail. How long? Last 90 days. If you want more, you have to create separate trail. You have to create separate yourself. Where it will store? In S3 bucket. When it is storing, they charge you. When they are giving free, they don't charge you. Last 90 days, locks are free. If you want more than 90 days, you have to pay for it. How? Based on your log generation. Where they are going to store? In S3. Storage in prison, they charge you. How the storage is coming? Users are logging in, logging out. Logging in, logging out. Not only that, they are listing, they are creating, they are modifying it, they are deleting it.